Hero and BBA designed by Mr. Mbecha Benetik Chendem. Uh, we'll be looking at what uh, this CMI of Hero is all about. It's a software designed by MBA to to compute payroll taxes in Cameroon. So we'll be getting around the software, how first time user can make use of the software, how you can correct error and how you can subsequently use the software. So let's launch the software which runs on uh, Microsoft Excel. Once you open the software, you will be prompted to enable uh, macros, which is the program that is used to run the software. Once you are, you do that, you get a notification that uh, you are using a trial version, so you can upgrade. Here we have the section where you need to submit the staff data, the section where you can generate your report, your pay list, your CMPS sheet, your tax sheet, your journal sheet, and basically for workers. So let's go to where you need to submit data. To submit data, you will have uh, areas that you need to enter data, which are not colored. So you need to enter the staff name, the position, the CMPS number, and then the various benefits. Once you do that, the rest of the information will be auto -fee. So this is a sample that I have just entered and the document or the form is organized. We have a section for taxable staff, those staff that you will charge them for both CMPS and payroll taxes. We have CMPS non-taxable staff. You may have some staff that are retired and are no longer contributed for CMPS but they have to pay normal taxes to the state. You can now have another set of workers who are temporary workers and you don't declare them for either CMPS or personal income tax. So for those categories of workers, you enter them in this section. So currently we have uh, 20 workers. Once you enter your information and verify it and you are sure that everything is good, what you just need to do is to select the period that you want to in this case we want to submit for 2016 select the month which we want to submit for october and you simply submit are you sure yes and then you get another notice to confirm that your data has been submitted you take ok once you have submitted that you can go back to your main menu and you assess any of your report if you want the pay list you go to it you select for the month which we have entered is October and you refresh for data for that month to come. So here we have the data for October, the gross salary of 12 million, the net salary of 11 million, the next payable of that. So everything is there. You can go to the CMPS sheet, you refresh, you refresh, sorry. Once you refresh, you have also the gross total, the total for employer and the total for employee. So we're gonna pay six 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 three four four to the to CMPS. You can go to your tax sheet and you also refresh, and then you have the amount that you have to pay to the state. You can print any of this sheet and attach it with your normal declaration. You can go to your journal entry sheet and you will see your journal entry for the necessary posting to into your account. You go to pay slip and you select from staff number. If you want from staff number one, you select and the staff name will appear to number 20. You select and the name will appear for the month of you select and you take print preview. So these are the pay slip for your workers. As you can see, you have the staff name, the name of staff one, position one, the CMPS number, and take next to view other details, and then you can actually print. Once printing, you choose from say one to twenty, and then you select your printer. Of course, you print. So. Once you have done that, for subsequent months, it, it, it will be that easy because since you have already submitted data for 
the mod you can simply edit data for october and resubmit for november and so on and so forth so if you are submitting for november you just make the necessary adjustment and you change the month to november and you submit again you can go back to your you can go to your playlist and you take november and you see data for november you can print you can go to cmps sheet you refresh and you print tax sheet and so on and so forth if you made an error and you want to correct that error again you click on this correct entries here you can actually view the entries that you have made click here to go to the first entry and then here to go to the next if you have made any error you can correct it here you are retrieving the entries in the database system you can retrieve them in this way and you correct whatever error you have made and then you update once it is updated you will notify on that so that's how the software will catch you